All right, all right. LDWMAC, this is your boy, The Coach, you live, live, live on The Coach, Show, The Coach, Show, live. Woo, buddy, 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 buddy. I know, guys, I'm going to get back into the video making mode. Guys, I've been working so damn much, I can't even, I can't even stop it. And I guess it's a good problem to have. But what I am going to start doing, I'm going to siphon off some of my work so I can get back on these videos. And I got to go at the, I just, hey, I haven't been doing anything when it comes to this channel. Even, you know, getting my monetization back, which I am going to do that because... I gotta, I gotta give YouTube all the smoke, but that's that's for a later time. Um, okay, where do I start? So I'm gonna tell you the truth behind Tyler Santos signing with the PFL. I'm gonna tell you the truth. Tyler Santos and the UFC, they left on very, very bad terms. Um, the problem with what happened with Tyler Santos is that her husband was a major problem. Um, you know, he's very hard to negotiate with. Now, you know, I'm one of these people that I advocate for fighters getting what they deserve, okay, out of the fight game. Because you can't fight forever. You got to make all the money that you can. And I am really a big proponent of fighters getting what they deserve. And, you know, I, I like Tyler Santos, you know, and I'm glad, you know, she got a black family. You know, and fighters that look like me, I want them to get ahead. But what really went wrong with Tyler Santos? And guys, I, I did this in a whole video series and I broke down what happened and I gave y'all and pretty much when I tell you all this stuff, you know that some people have actually come to me and corroborated my story about what happened in Tyler Santos. To make a long story short, I mean, you know, she screwed her team over. She screwed her team over. Uh, she screwed them over, you know, m made all this money and then screwed them over. You know, started living a life of luxury over in Brazil and didn't pay the team that got her to the point. And that, that's just what it is. People will stand allegedly and speculate. Well, I'm just telling you, you know, I, I, okay, what I heard, what I have heard, okay, is that she screwed him over. Now, some things, you know, this particular fighter was telling me, I was kind of like, uh, that don't make sense. Like, one fighter moreover told me that Tyler Santos, like, when, you know, the team, they, they came to them about being paid. I heard that this dude over here told them they got to wait for the UFC check to clear. <laughs> Folks, I start, I bust my, I, I said, come on. I said, that's a lie. Because there's nobody on planet Earth that stupid to believe they got to wait for a check from the UFC. Okay, the biggest, you know, MMA fighting, you know, entity in the world to clear. Like you, oh, because it was a large sum of money, you know, we got to let that check clear. What? <laughs> Okay, and I'll hold do it clear, man. From the time you put that check in the bank, that, that check, at least 24 hours, man, that check, uh, you know, w whatever it is, the deposits will show up in your account. And and some banks, hell, the deposits show up right away. I know in my bank, the deposits show up immediately. <laughs> so, you know, I start, I, I start laughing. I'm like, come on, man. Come on. Tyler Santos' old team wasn't that stupid. Like, you get, like, the fighter get the pay get the check and then the fighter paid the team out of the check. But guys, from what I heard, that's what was going on. You have to understand sometimes how things work in Brazil. Okay, you have to really, really understand. And when you're training in a, in a, with a team in Brazil, you know, everybody treats everybody like family. Okay, everybody treats everybody like, like, like their family. And, and so moreover, when people are family, you get comfortable with family. You get comfortable, oh yeah, I'm gonna pay you, I'm gonna pay you, hey, yo, yo, just give me a couple weeks, I got you. Okay, no deal, no big deal. You get comfortable with your family. And that's, that's sometimes in Brazil, the business end takes a back seat, okay? Because, you know, people in Brazil use an honor system. Okay, they believe that you're going to pay them, you know, after you have your fight and the check, you get the check and all this other stuff. Well, of course they were stalling and then eventually ended up not paying these people and these people had to, you know, take them, you know, try to, you know, sue to get the money that they were owed. So that that's a short story of what happened with Tyler Santos. Well, you know, folks, when you screw your team, things begin to happen. It became, it was a snowball effect for Tyler Santos. Okay, number one, she got injured in the Valentina fight. Okay, uh, orbital bone was, was fractured. Okay, but instead of going to go get the surgery, she opted to just let it heal because they didn't want to spend the money. Okay, that came back to haunt you because, and I'm not giving Tyler Santos, I'm not giving her an excuse. I'm not giving her an excuse, but Tyler Santos, when she fought Aaron Blanchfield, she was probably at about 60%. But 
This girl has some lingering injuries that, ne that never healed, that she never addressed. Because guess what they did? They put her back into the fight game. They put her back in the fight game before she was ready, before her body was ready to take on another fight. They put her back in the fight game, which I just thought was one of the dumbest things that you can do. Let this girl heal. Because now it cost her a shit ton of future paydays that she would have been getting as being a champion. Tyler Santos cost herself a championship belt because of not being patient and that you're doing the things she needed to do, such as go ahead and invest that money and pay your team. Go on here. Yeah, you might miss it and, and you might, you know, miss a couple of payments. Invest that money because that's going to lead you to the big payments or invest that money in your body because when you don't have a physical body, OK, if your body not up to 100 percent, well, guess what? You're not going to be successful as a fighter. Tyler Santos, you're in a business where your body makes you money. And if your body isn't functioning properly, do you think your floor income is going to be consistent? Do you? See, these are the things that I would ask Tyler Santos and I would say it to her face. This is what I would say. So she signed a deal with the PFL. And of course, they signed that deal pretty rapidly. Now the PFL, they, they got some pretty decent perks, you know, like you'll get like, you know, and I think they still have this. Okay, I gotta go talk. I probably talked to a fighter, a couple of fighters. I probably talked to Abigail Montez and ask her, is that still a thing? But they have uh, this stipend that they get. It's a $2,000 a month stipend that, you know, as long as you're signed to the promotion, that's what you get, okay? I think a lot of the fighters get it. Some probably don't, but you get a $2,000 a month stipend just to be affiliated with the PFL. And that don't include your purses, okay? That's just money that they give. Now, $2,000 a month in Brazil, now that's a lot of money. Because in Tyler Santos' world, that's probably about ten grand a month in Brazilian reels. Okay, that, that's what that is. So just the thought of her being signed to the PFL, financially, it, it's a good thing. Now, we just hope this dude over here on the right don't fuck it up. Okay, we just hope that he don't go over there and fuck this up for Tyler Santos. Okay, that's that's my worry. I think Tyler Santos will be competitive. However, if Tyler Santos haven't let these injuries, and guys, I'm not going to disclose the injuries that I was told because this person, pretty much if I start putting out the injuries that she actually had, then they're going to know that this person told me. Okay, so I'm not going to say it. But if Tyler Santos can't get the injuries under control, okay, with the rest of her body, then she's going to fall into the same trap that she's fallen into, you know, that she fell into the UFC when she fought Blanchfield. I mean, the girl had other injuries going on besides the orbital bone that wasn't 100% healed. That's all it is. I think Tyler Santos, a healthy Tyler Santos, would definitely be a, P a PFL champion. Okay? Like, who in the PFL at 125 pounds is, is really going to start Tyler Santos? The only person I see who really could give up, you know, who really can give up time is, uh, uh, damn, uh, Dick Shiva. I think her last name, uh, Dakota Dick Shiva. And I hope I said her name right. I think I messed it all up. But y'all know who I'm talking about, the Russian chick. Um, she, she good. She real good. I just don't think she good enough for Tyler Santos. I think Tyler Santos got more skill set. And also, this girl's primarily a striker. You know, Tyler Santos does normally a good job with these strikers. I mean, and a striker is food. For, for for fighters like for Tyler Santos, a striker's food. Um, but I'm glad that she's able to go and start over. You know, I'm glad she's able to get a bag. Um, but in Tyler Santos' case, she's she can't go back and repeat the past. Don't collect the money and don't pay your team. You take care of your team. That that that's who got you there. And that that kind of stuff. Me as a coach, that pisses me off. You always, you always take care of your team. You never let your team go without eating. If you eat, your team need to eat. 